Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel Excel Book. In this video, we are going to talk about custom formatting. But before we start, subscribe to our channel if you haven't and press the bell icon so you don't miss an update from us. As the name suggests, custom, custom formatting helps us in changing the display of a value in a cell. Values such as dates, times, fractions, percentages and other numerics can be formatted. We will be discussing the same in the examples below. Let's start with an example in row 7. In cell C7, we have a text which is custom format text. We are going to copy the same, select the cell range L7 to L10, open format cell bar which can be opened with shortcut Ctrl plus 1 or right click and select format cell. Now in this bar, select custom. Now paste the copied text and click on OK. Now Come to cell I7 and write 1000. Now if you go to cell L7 and link the same to cell I7, we will get text positive in cell L7. Similarly in below cell, if we write minus 1000 and link cell L8 to I8, we will get text negative in cell I8. Inserting 0 will give us 0 in text format and inserting a text, for example Excel book will give us an output text. The custom format can only be used in the given chronological order. That is, you have to mention the same in positive, negative, zero and text in the same order. You can also see that each text has been provided in double quotes. Further, the same has been separated from one another with a semicolon. The output we got was the same output we have provided as custom. Similarly, let's copy sign hash. Copy the same, come to cell L12 open format cell, go to custom and paste the same. Link the same to cell I12. When cell hash is inserted, it displays only significant digits. That is, if we write 0 in cell I12, cell L12 will not display anything because it's not a significant digit. But if we insert any absolute number, we will get the same number. Similarly, in cell L13, if we paste 40 with 10 after decimal and link the same to I13, any value inserted in cell I13, we will get 10 after decimal. Similarly, in row 15, 16, 17, we have format which will factor in scale for any number. Let's go to cell L15. If we go to custom formatting and paste the sign, then insert 1 million in cell I15, then the output we will get in cell L15 will be scaled down to hundreds. Similarly, for row 16 and 17, format mention will give us output in thousands and millions. We want to mention a flaw in custom formatting here. For value in 100, we can't use comma and have to use dot every time. Secondly, for the row 16 and 17, an addition of comma at the end of format converts the value from thousands to millions and another addition of a comma converts the value from millions to billions. Next is formatting of decimal values in fraction values. For our example, we have used United States Treasury Security Prices which are displayed in fraction. 1 by 32 is the normal fraction used by United States Treasury Security Price. If we copy the custom format in the cell range L19 to L21 and insert any number with a decimal point in cell I19 to I21, we will get the output in fraction of 1 by 32. Next is to custom format the dates. Copy the format in the cell and paste the same in custom format well, your cursor is in cell L23. Now, if you insert any date in cell I23, the format of the cell L23 will change to the same format copied. Format in the below cell for date can also be pursued in the similar manner. Coming to the last example, here the color of the text is going to change as per the format input. In cell L28, if you copy the format, paste it in custom format and link the same to cell I28, the color of the cell will change according to the text or number inserted. For example, if we insert a number, we will get the same in green color. If we insert a negative number, we will get the same in red color. If we insert a zero, we will get the same in blue color. And if we insert a text, we will get the same in color magneta. In row 29, we have changed the color name with codes. For example, color 4, color 3. In Excel, there are total of such 56 color codes, with every code has a different color being assigned. 
after linking the cell L29 with the format, we'll get the same output that we were getting in above row. For this custom format, providing text in square bracket assigns the color with color name or color code. For color code, you have to specifically write color, space and code number for the format to work. Also, this format is same as the first example where we have to use format in positive, negative, zero and text. A last format in row 30, this format will format any number less than or equal to 1 in percentage and other number in number format. So that's it in today's video. If you find this session interesting and knowledgeable, then like this video, subscribe to our channel and if you have any queries then write the same in comment section below. Thanks for watching.